Good morning and welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update in Happy Eight. The first day of the week comes in with lack of fundamentals across the day as there are no economic releases during the Asian and the European session. While all eyes will be, will be headed toward the US session today as we will be focusing on two economic data sets for the month of July and June. Beginning with the flash services PMI, the index is expected to rise to 62.3 in July up from 61 in June. In addition to that, the US pending home sales is expected to decline slightly by 0.2% in June after an increase of 6.1% in May. However, the sales may decline more than expected along with the other housing figures that were released last week and the week before with the significant declines as well. As for this week, there are many key economic figures will be released, which likely to have a significant impact on the market, especially those fundamentals from the U.S. The Wednesday is cons Wednesday considered as, as the most important day of the week as we will be waiting for the ADP non-farm employment change, the FOMC decision, and most importantly, the U.S. GDP for the second quarter of this year. The ADP non-farm employment change is expected to add 234,000 in July, comparing to 234,000 in June. As for the GDP figures, which likely to be the key for this uh, for the Fed and uh, for the markets, the estimates are pointing to a growth of 3.1%. And if they comes in as expected, this means that the U.S. economy grew by only 0.2% in the first half of the year. Any growth below 2.9% will be a clear sign that the U.S. economy is technically in a recession during the first half of the year, which will lead the Federal Reserve again to cut the annual GDP growth significantly again and might even lead the Fed to change the current tapering policy. Our GDP forecast model shows that the Q2 GDP may grow by only 2.8 to 2.7 percent. As for the Fed decision, further tapering, co further tapering could be seen, while any disappointment figures by the GDP might lead the Fed to pause the tapering in this meeting, awaiting further evidences. However, everyone needs the Fed to explain the reason behind the recent slowing down, despite the fact that the harsh weather is already behind us. However, the economic figures are coming far away from expectations. The Eurozone inflation also figures will be released on Thursday and the estimate points to a stabilization of 0.5%. Finally, on Friday, the U.S. jobs report will be released and the U.S. economy is expected to add around 230,000 new jobs in July comparing to 288 in new jobs in June. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports and analysis. Thank you for watching and happy eight again.